Well, it was a double blow for the television industry this weekend, mourning the deaths of the actress Nokolo Makashalala, who passed away at her home. Details around how that happened are still not clear, but you'll remember, of course, uh, her performances in local dramas such as Generations, uh, Rhythm View and that youth drama series, and in Cha Cha, which she played with Sisanda Hena. Remember this? Dad. Mom. I don't want to go to the anymore. Sorry. The HIV positive. The entire number of them. And I hope and pray to be able to get the entire number of them. I don't want to be able to get the entire number of them. I don't want to be able to We're joined now by the actor Sisanda Hena, and of course, uh, they played uh, a breakthrough love interest couple in uh, the series uh, Cha Cha. Uh, Sisanda, a very good morning to you. I imagine this is quite a blow for you personally. Uh, just even hearing that clip, uh, Cha Cha, of course, educating uh, the country about uh, HIV uh, and AIDS, in which uh, in that scene there, her character. Uh, coming out to a family as HIV positive and saying I deserve to be loved and respected nonetheless. I have to say, hats off to Lita and to you, your producers. Uh, I've been speaking to a few people, but you guys getting that clip and playing that clip is, is probably one of the, the most prestigious ways to pay homage to her, you know? Um, I'm in tears now just having heard the clip, let alone because I didn't even see the visuals. But it's a testament to what she did and how she moved people like even just that clip back then when when it was so important to to de uh, stigmatize being hiv positive and in that closer drama series you know aban uh, baguti sometimes you know the way they will respond to certain uh, diseases etc but uh, uh, not all of them embodied that thing and and that character really opened up uh, uh, to allow people to normalize you know being hiv positive and that's She's really made a mark on the world, you know. And and that's the responsibility of artists, right? Not just to entertain, but to grab hold of a particular moment, to change yeah. minds, to inspire, to educate, uh, and really open mm. the eyes of people. Mm. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and, you know, we were so young when we made that drama, and uh, it was my first major role. It was hers, too. And, we, you know, we won some awards there. Uh, uh, you know, just having come into the industry and and hats off even to the, the filmmakers back then, you know, that we were working with. Tim Green was directing Holy Nikki, where who's gone on to make amazing stuff. But you're right. We, I remember just before then, Yizo Yizo had come out and it also captured the moment in the culture and it began to celebrate something we hadn't seen of ourselves on screen. And here comes Itacha, which was four young people like in a village town deep in the Eastern Cape who had hopes and dreams but then we're hit by HIV AIDS and, and, and in this, like, in such a hard gripping story, uh, um, I think it did. It moved people forward and it inspired people to, to live a different life. Absolutely. Sisanda, condolences to you, the acting fraternity uh, at large. Um, I know it'll take a little bit of time to come to terms with this news. Thank you for talking to us and paying your tribute to Nakola this morning. Thank you guys for taking the time to, to, to do this. And uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Sasanda Hena, their actor, paying tribute uh, to her, to his comrade, uh, Nokolo Makashalala. Uh, news, of course, of her passing. Uh, we got that story over this weekend. Uh, and uh, she wasn't the only one. Uh, also, Menzi Ngubane, uh, legendary actor. Uh, we first really knew him uh, in the series Guakala Nyonini as the character Kijimbi. This was, uh, what, in the early 80s or thereabouts. Uh, but he played many roles, was able to transition from those days uh, into uh, the modern era of television production, Zizo, Yizo, Isibaya, and of course, Generations, where he played Busiso Lomo, and now uh, the creator of that series and producer, uh, Babum Fundi Vundla, joins us now on the line. Uh, my goodness, a double blow, uh, in a sense, uh, for you, for both of these actors whose work was amazing and that you worked with. L- let's talk then about uh, Menzin Gubane. He-, he really is a towering figure in terms of our screen? No, no, no question about that. You know, uh, you, know uh, you know, when you think about a great artists, you know, uh, you, look, you look at him in the, in the context 
of his time, you know, and uh, what was happening during his time, because, you know, he was like, uh, to me, in the golden age of South African television, he was one of the luminaries of that period, you know, and uh, especially with the dawn of democracy, he television in this country just blossomed, you know, and uh, sort of, and then there were like, like a thousand flowers were blooming all over the place, you know, and and uh, Menzi was one of the stellar figures in in, 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 in that period, you know, and uh, and I've been thinking, you know, like for instance, you know, about him in relation to his other colleagues, you know, in the field, you know, yeah, and uh, and I've, and uh, for instance, I, I, I was thinking that for instance, to me, you know, and this is my opinion, you know. He 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 he's an actor at a high level, you know. Perhaps today, you know, to just to get a picture, the the only two actors to me who equal his acting stature and talent, and that is John Garney and uh, Vusikunene, and uh, you know, to me that they are they're, they're playing their craft at the highest level, you know. And I saw Menzi up against Samuel L. Jackson in the movie where I was producer. And Samuel L. Jackson had the greatest respect for Menzi. In fact, when Menzi died, I, I sent a text message to Samuel L. Jackson informing him about this, and he responded immediately, wanting to know, you know what happened and stuff. And uh, he was, like, really, really devastated. But but but, but that, that's that, that that's the level at which Menzi played, you know, with Samuel L. Jackson, Busi, John Ghani. and uh, and of the actors who have passed on, he he ranks with uh, uh, Winston John, uh, you know, Six Mugai, yeah, and uh, you know people like that. You know, he's you know uh, uh, David Peter, you know, he he. he, he, he yeah, he's at a very high level, you know. And, no, I, I, and, you know, it's and, all missed. and and I can hear, I can hear the grief uh, and the sense of personal loss. Uh, I think you can offer an actor no higher praise than mentioning him in uh, the same breath as uh, the names you've just rattled off there. Uh, Mfundi Fundi, I appreciate your time there. The creator of Generations and producer of that show, remembering uh, the actor Menzi Ngubane, saying he's earned a place in the pantheon of South Africa's acting. God. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.